In today's video, I'm going to share with you how I overcame severe depression naturally and how you can do the same. Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. So today's video is a very personal one for me. About 25 years ago, I was suffering from severe clinical depression. Now, I had no reason to be depressed. Everything was going right in my life at the time, but every single day I felt sad and I was crying and I had negative thoughts and I had a suicide attempt at the ripe old age of 23. Luckily, I'm here with you today and I want to share my story so that if you're going through this, you know that there are things that you can do as well. So let me just give you a little background story. I was pretty unhealthy for most of my childhood. I had a lot of infections growing up. I was put on multiple rounds of antibiotics. I had my tonsils out, my adenoids out more than once. The main problem that I had was severe digestive issues. And I went to the bathroom only once per week. And I really strongly feel that this negatively contributed to my health problems at the time. And the older I got and the longer this went on, the worse and worse I started to feel. Now it didn't help that I had a very bad diet as well. I was a full blown sugar addict growing up as a kid and I experimented with smoking and alcohol and recreational drugs as a teenager. So all of this combined just made me have a very unhealthy body and therefore an unhealthy mind. So it was pretty intense and I sought traditional medical treatment, of course. At the time, I didn't know any better. I went to doctors, went to therapists, and I did try the traditional route with medications. And I have to say, for me personally, they did not work. And as a matter of fact, they made me worse. But keep in mind, I was only about 19 at the time, so my brain was not quite totally formed yet. And the chemicals in these medications just made me worse. Now, I'm not saying that every single person is gonna have this issue, but I do wholeheartedly believe that we don't have a deficiency of Prozac or some other medication, that there are other underlying causes for depression in the first place. So in any case, I'm glad that I'm here with you today to share with you some of the things that I did to turn myself around. So once this event occurred and I went on with my life, I knew that I had to get healthier. So that's the first thing that I worked on. Now at the time, I hadn't had any formal education yet into natural health or nutrition or anything. I started with just exercise. I actually became a fitness trainer and I was working out on a regular basis. And this started to improve my mood in and of itself because exercise is basically a natural antidepressant. And then I knew that my gut issues were a big part of my problem and I had to figure out how I was gonna get myself to go to the bathroom every day. So I made changes to my diet, all from self-study at the time, from reading books and doing research. And my diet started to improve and therefore my gut health started to improve. So therefore I started to feel better and better over time. And on top of that, I started to read books that would fill me with positive types of thinking and get me on the road for a personal growth. So that was a big part of it too. So in any case, I feel that what helped me was getting over my digestive issues and eating better, taking care of myself. And at the time, I actually wasn't even taking any supplements like I do today, but there are lots of supplements that can help with this as well. I'm gonna get into that in, in a second. But I really think that the underlying cause has to be figured out as to why someone is depressed in the first place if they have no reason to be depressed because things can happen and you can get depressed because life happens i mean depression is a natural emotion for human beings but to be depressed for no reason is not and i think as a functional medicine practitioner getting to the root cause is extremely important and I really don't feel that the traditional medical system has any interest in doing this. Um, I actually watched some videos doing some research for this video and the things that some of these psychiatrists and doctors were saying in the videos uh, really made me cringe. Uh, I didn't write any negative comments but it was very hard for me to hear the information that they were saying and how they were poo-pooing the natural remedies because there's no studies and all this kind of garbage. But anyway, but meanwhile, all studies prove that antidepressants are just fine, right? No, the drug companies are funding them, so therefore they're gonna show that they're fine. But believe me, lots of people have side effects from medications, especially antidepressants, and not to mention they're very hard to get off of. So I'm obviously not a fan of those things, and I had tried them myself and they made me worse. So anyway, 
for enough about my story. Now let me say some things that I recommend to people now that I have figured a lot of this out on my own and have learned from being in the profession. So first and foremost, we got to get to the root cause. What could be one of the possible reasons why someone's depressed in the first place? Do they have gut issues? And if so, are they addressing them? So nowadays, modern science does recognize that the gut contains lots of bacteria and that bacteria plays a critical role in everything that we do and not to mention that most of our neurotransmitters are made in the gut so if you're having gut issues you're going to have neurotransmitter issues serotonin dopamine these kinds of things they're produced in the gut so if you have an imbalance of good and bad bacteria in the gut if you have an infection in the gut if you're eating foods that inflame you all the time you're going to have neurotransmitter issues and mood issues as well there's a strong connection between the gut and the brain. So that's the very first thing you have to look at is gut health. And that's what I firmly believe. And then another contributor to gut health is nutrient deficiencies. Many of us don't get the right vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids into our diet. And that can cause not only gut issues, but body-wide problems as well. Deficiencies of minerals, vitamins, essential fatty acids. The big ones are the B vitamins. The B vitamins are really, really critical. And when your gut isn't working, you're not producing as much and you're probably not eating enough in your diet. So B vitamins are really crucial. All of the B vitamins, especially things like B6 and niacin and inositol, okay? I think you should get the entire B complex together, but all the B vitamins are important, especially the ones that I just mentioned. Now, as far as minerals go, all the minerals are important too, but magnesium is especially important for mood and brain health. So magnesium is another one that you wanna consider. Now, another thing that does have science behind it is essential fatty acids. So things that come from fish, omega-3s, uh, EPA and DHA, these are really critical for brain health and mood. And a lot of us perhaps don't eat enough fish, don't get enough of these essential fats into our diet. So supplementing with EPA and DHA can be really important as well. Now, on the herbal side, that's another area of controversy with the doctors because they all say that if you're taking meds, you shouldn't take herbs, yada, yada. But there are places besides the United States that actually use herbs first before prescribing medication, especially in places like Germany. They actually prescribe St. John's wort instead of antidepressants as their first remedy. Now, I have a lot of experience using St. John's wort in my clinic, and it works pretty good for most people. If you are already on medication, please be mindful of this. They recommend that you don't do both, okay? so. The main point here is obviously we're all different and there's going to be different reasons for your depression as maybe mine, but I figured out what mine was and I made changes to my diet, to my lifestyle, and over time I did get better and it's possible for you as well. So I hope this information was really helpful for you. If you need help in this area, please let us know. We can come up with a customized protocol for you. We can help you with testing. We can help you figure out your nutrient levels. Check the link below and get in touch. We offer free consultations. And I will also put a few links to some of the supplements that I recommended in this video. But in any case, if you know someone who's suffering with depression, it can be very, very scary. Please share this information with them, guys. And thank you so much for watching. And I'm glad to be here with you today. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.